Hi everyone, in this video, I will introduce our paper TI2V0, Zero Sort Image Conditioning for Test to Video Division Models. Given a pre-trained test to video generation model, we test in a test plant and generate an output video. We would like to have more control of the output video by inputting a starting image as the first frame. Thus, the video generation will be controlled by test plus the given image without any training or fine-tuning. However, our task is not trivial. First, how can we enable the pre-trained T2V model to do TI2V generation without any training? Second, how can we maintain the temporal consistency in the final synthesized video? We first introduce the framework of the pre-trained T2V model. We sample a Gaussian noise volume head ZT, then gradually remove the noise through the reverse process of the pre-trained denoising unit to generate a clean latent sequence head Z0. We finally use a frame decoder to decode its latent frame to form the video hat X0. Based on the pre-trained T2V foundation model, we first propose a replacing based baseline. Given the starting frame S0, we utilize the image encoder to encode it as latent S0. To guide the video generation process, we use S0 to replace the first frame of latent sequence hat Z to ensure the consistent signal to noise ratio in head Z, we add T steps of noise to S0. Using this baseline, we might hope that the temporal attention layers in the denoising unit can utilize the context provided by the first frame to generate subsequent frames. However, this baseline fails. To analyze possible regions, we apply this baseline to the simpler task of video infilling, where every other frame is provided. However, the resulting video looks like a combination of two independent videos. This may result from the dissimilarity between the frame latents from the real images and those from Gaussian noise. Thus, for the temporal attention layers in the 3D denoising unit, the attention values between frames that were sampled in different ways will be lower, while the attention values between frames that were sampled in the same way will be higher. In other words, the temporal attention layers tend to ignore the provided frames. If we further simplify the task to single frame prediction, in which all the other frames in the video are given, in this setting, the temporal attention layers can only use the information from the real frames. Now the baseline can generate a consistent result. Inspired by this observation, we propose a repeat and slide strategy. We force the conjugate Q of K frame latent as zero. Then in each reverse step, we replace the first k frame latents in hat ZT by ST. Thus, the temporal attention layers are forced to utilize the information from the real image S0. Note that now we generate only one new frame latent in each complete sampling process. So we gradually perform a sliding operation within the QS0. We repeat this sliding operation to generate each subsequent frame. To provide the initial noise that can produce more temporarily consistent results, we introduce an inversion strategy based on the DDPM forward process. That is, we add T first steps of Gaussian noise to S0 to obtain the ST. We further apply a resampling technique to enhance the motion coherence. In particular, after performing a one-step denoising operation in the reverse process, we add one-step noise again to revert the latent. We use three datasets, mark, UCF101, and a data set that we created a code open. For metrics, we use FVD, test the condition FVD, and sub Z condition FVD. These are generation examples on the mark data set. Compare with previous method, our method can produce more consistent and realistic results. These are generation examples on the UCF101 data set. These are generation examples on the open data set. Here we saw qualitative and quantitative comparisons of our method versus the previous method. Our method can also easily extend to other applications such as long video generation and video prediction. This is a summary of our TI2V framework, and thank you for watching our video. You can also scan this QR code to read our paper online.